Show tags, body bags, universal, I run this bitch. Look, Call of Duty, I run this bitch. Don't make me drop a hundred quick, I rush the shit. Face gone, guts gone, that's Nate Palm, I own my own. Blackbird, chop a gun, it's time to feed the dogs. What's up guys, Universal Soldier, King of the Flank, aka the Rocket Man, back with another epic gameplay, Black Ops, Nuketown, 114 kills, 8 deaths, I'm rocking Flak Jacket, Slide of Hand Pro, and Ninja Pro. Now, I finally got 100 kills again, it's been so fucking long, but yet I still get cheated. How did I get cheated? The video doesn't show the whole 100 kills. 14 kills. It stops at like 95 kills. The game fucking Universal Soldier again. Now I want to talk to y'all about some things that's been on my mind. I've played Medal of Honor. You know, I've played Black Ops, obviously. That's all I do is play Black Ops. Black Ops 2 is coming out very soon. Halo is already here. Now, I know y'all are tired of the same shooters, which I will name again Black Ops or Call of Duty in general. Halo, Battlefield, you also got Crisis, you also got Kill Zone. You know, over and over the shooters, you know, they're 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 just becoming listless to me. And I want to talk to y'all about what do y'all think is gonna be the next great shooter? What company do y'all think the next great shooter is gonna come from? Is it a company that's already here or is it a company that's not yet to be named or discovered? Do y'all think this, this shooter will have the same repetitive game modes like as, as Call of Duty? You got Team Deathmatch, Domination, Search and Destroy. You see, I can go on and on. Capture the flag. Or will this, will this game create new game modes and try new things? Do you think this game mode or this game will also borrow from other games? Like Medal of Honor, borrowing what we know as kill streaks from call of duty but they try to create it in their own way and they call them support streaks will it borrow the same guns as as every other game or will it allow you to make your own guns you know will it have great game modes to 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 balance the game like for campers will it have its own game mode where folks can't camp will it have a quick scoping game mode you know, there's there's tons of ideas, but I feel I feel right now that right now we're just stuck with the same old shooters. What I mean by that is, OK, you got new titles or new versions of the shooter coming out, but nothing new in particular. I feel right now the gaming industry is ready for a new shooter, a new epic shooter. I, I, I know when everybody I know everybody remembers the. The Halo 2 and the Halo 3, everybody loved that, you know? Or when COD 4 came out, it was it was epic, you know? Now, I think that's what the industry right now is missing. Something epic, something new. Because, let me tell you, I get tired of playing Black Ops all the time. And Medal of Honor, it just seems dry, you know? Kind of like Grawl, Ghost Recon did. Now, Ghost Recon had some great aspects about the game that I loved but I feel that the company itself didn't do enough for the game you see what I'm saying the company didn't for itself they did not do enough in the story mode the story mode felt dry like you know how you're playing Modern Warfare 2 right and you breach a room they had it kind of like that but instead of paper flying everywhere and bombs exploding when you breach the room in the slow-mo imagine all those effects gone but just in, in ghost recon you know like i feel companies i feel companies are, are are not trying to 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 step it up anymore now i will give troy it's due it stepped it up when it comes to a new setting and they're trying new ideas, and I really respect that because I'm tired of the, the same old ideas, you know, the same old settings. Like, we're done with the World War II setting, but like the, the, the Afghan setting or the Iraq setting, you know what I mean? I'm tired of those settings. Modern Warfare 2, 
and plenty of other games have played that out. What about the new settings? Where we're going to take it next? Is this in this new setting? Is it going to be a place or a war in the past or are you going to make up a war yourself? You know, I think ideas like that really make shooters because right now I am tired of COD, I'm tired of Battlefield. I haven't even played Battlefield in a while. I don't know why, like, I don't know, it's just, I just haven't felt the same about Battlefield. I know y'all probably want to see some Battlefield, but like, I don't know, you know, and, and that's what, that's what's killing me right now. I feel the shooters... Look at it like this. All right, compare it to the rap industry. You know how all the the rappers are whack right now. Like you got Chief Keef, you know, the Little B, and, and on and on. It's like that right now. That's what it feels like to me. Just a bunch of garbage. And I'm ready for that next great rapper to come out and to explode on the scene. And, you know, to get me hyped again. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm ready and I'm hyped for Black Ops 2, but it's still a Black Ops or a Treyarch title, you know? I'm ready for something new, something something we've never seen before in video gaming, you know? Like, all right, in all the games, in Call of Duty, you get the same game modes. Team Deathmatch, am I right? Domination, Search and Destroy, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's the same game modes. They're not coming out with, they're not trying new ideas. They did try some in Modern Warfare 2, you know, with the third person, and I respect that. But at the same time, I feel as if they're afraid to try something because they feel it will haunt them or it'll have a huge backlash. And what you got to realize is these small things, these small ideas is what really makes a big shooter. You know, the guns is nice, and and the streaks is nice or whatever, but the idea of new ideas on a, on a title is what really helps a shooter sell, or in general, just a new shooter, period. Because a lot of that, like, Black Ops 2 is coming out with new ideas, new setting, probably new kill streaks. You know, they're, they're, they're listening to the people on, on some things, like with the ghost. I would really like that if a company actually listened to the gamers, you know, because we're the one who actually buy the games. We're the one who, 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 who go to the store and shell out $60, $70 for this title. And I feel they should listen to us more because we're going to be the one buying the game. So if we want Ghost Gone, you see what I'm saying? We should have that, you know? We should we should be able to to, 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 to ask for stuff like that. If we want new guns just a complete new guns download we should be able to ask for that you know because we're we're shelling out the money and with this new company i want this new company to to really care about the the gamers you know like you know how people can get on the forums and complain about let's say the famas being overpowered and i remember when they patched the famas not only in, in call of duty or in black ops they also did it in battlefield you know you see how they responded to that quick? Why can't they respond to other things? Like, why can't we give them ideas? Like, they should have like a mailbox or something or, or email where we can float in new ideas and, and bring the shooter back to its great, its great standard when it first came out. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Black Ops to a certain extent. But... At the same time, I'm so used to everything, and I'm ready for something new. Like, in the system, in the engine itself, like, say I'll shoot at a guy, and he'll shoot at me, and he'll get the kill. Like, I think they should have an advantage system. And what I mean by that is, okay, I got the first shots on the guy. I have a higher advantage of getting the kill. Because, like, that shit is not realistic. There's a lot of, a lot of things wrong in, in these shooters that that grade themselves on being realistic and i want y'all to leave y'all comments below because like this is something that's i really been thinking about le lately and it's something that's been bugging my mind because i was playing black ops and i noticed 
I'll have the advantage on, I'll have the complete advantage on a guy, and yet I'll still lose. Like I don't know where my gun will rise, and he'll get he'll he'll get the kill. And it's things like these that are killing shooters. Campers are killing shooters. You see what I'm saying? The 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 gamers. The, the gamers who aren't really gamers are, 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 it seems like they're, they're killing the shooters. You know, they're making the shooters worse. And I just want your comments. Leave your comments below about everything I said. What do you think is going to be the next great shooter? Is it going to be from a company that we already know or not? Universal Soldier, love y'all guys. Hit that sub button. I'm out and prepare for Black Ops 2. I'm ready. I'm going to be up there about five six in the afternoon waiting for hours